Food. I didn't count calories this time. Um, I went to help of Sam, Sam Jones. Food. We're around about 2,000 calories we calculated. Um, that was on my lowest point, 2,000, um, which is quite low, quite low for me. Um, about 2,000 calories and, and protein again, because you're training hard with weights and stuff, protein needs, is, is an important one. And I was on about 200 grams a day, which is easy to do. Spread over four meals with a couple of snacks chucked in. Again, none of this is great shakes. None of this is, none of this is top of the range. Porridge oats, right? Staple, always a staple. And I'd have whey protein. So 50 grams of that, two scoops of that, job done. 350 calories-ish. You know, a nice big bowl, something warm, something hot in the morning with some blueberries or something in it. Simple. That's it. Boil the kettle, pour it on, stir it, mix it. Everything's got to be quick, guys. Everything's got to be quick. So that would be one of the meals. Bagels. I have a bagel with some bacon and eggs. And again, all sounds bacon and eggs. You can't have bacon and eggs. You know, lean bacon medallions, a couple of those. They're about 30 to 40 calories to slice. Bang them in the uh, air fryer. A, a, a bagel and then towards the end go to a bagel thin you know the whole thing is less than 200 calories bang in a couple of eggs you've got a big plate full of food and the calories are less than 300 these are used quite a bit snacker jack thingies you can get various mix these are snacker jacks 50 calories each great smooth chop smooth caramel you get chocolate flavor a couple of those before training again another one another big staple for me is that greek yogurt if you can see that again the whole tub that whole thing is, um, is 250 calories. The whole thing, am I right? Let's just get it right now. Yes, the whole thing is 250 calories. You know, add half of that, add in some, I'm a big fan of, uh, got this off down at Gower View Foods, um, peanut butter, no, or you can get almond butter. This is beautiful, you know. Scoop of that in, in, in with the uh, Greek yogurt. Again, tastes great, tastes great. You feel as if you're adding something desserty. Amazing. Something I would never give up, ever. This is what gets me through when I am taking the calories down, is I'm a big fan of dark chocolate. I like, again, I don't have the 85% because it's healthier or any of that. That's 600 calories a bar. I have that because that's what I like to eat. So I'm always dipping in, grabbing a couple of slices, a couple of squares, you know, two or three times a day. That, that does the need for something which you think is a little bit, ooh, that's bad. I, not bad, but that's that's a bit of a treat, which I fucking hate that word. As you know, we're not dogs. We're not dogs. We don't have a pat on the head and have treats. Supplements I took. These are the supplements I took. Vitamin C. A multivitamin. And a cod liver oil. And that's it. No more than that. And I would um, take uh, a pre-workout, which is just a posh caffeine. You know, I take those vitamins just to support because you're training hard. Um, just to support the immune system and make sure you get in those buttons because because you're breaking down the muscles quite a bit breaking the body down a bit put a lot of stress on the body you know it's important to make sure you cover all the bases one thing i didn't get right didn't get right and i love it and i don't know why i didn't get it right is water you know i should have been drinking a lot more um i probably should be drinking five to six liters a day i'm sometimes two and a half to three which is which is adequate but for what i was doing it, it should have been more should have been more but again no great dramas, never felt dehydrated, never felt, um, you know, in cramping or anything, so that was good. Um, something I, I did keep an eye on, because I would eat them until the cows come home, is these bad boys there. So, did have some, did have some along the way, but those are the ones, that I know is my trigger food. So that's what I have to control, because if I didn't control that, I would eat them. And, you know, a pack of those is 450 calories, and I would do that without even packing an eyelid. So, I kept control of those. The dark chocolate, not so much. I never went to bed hungry either. Always had something before bed. Always felt the need. This. I just want to show people, right, what you can do. You make it as simple as you can. Make it as doable as you can. Then you're far likely to stick to the plan and get your result. It's when we complicate it and make it so, oh, that's amazing. That diet's amazing. The exercise is amazing. Then it becomes it becomes then easy to fail on it because it's so complicated. And now I've blown it. Oh, that sod it, you know. In the evening then, I would have a chili or something like that because it's just mince, lean mince. Fish, fish in the air fryer. Again, with some potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes, guys. People get stressed about potatoes. Potatoes, you can have a field full of them and the calories are so low. As long as you don't cover them in butter and knows whatever else. Just have the potatoes chopped up in the air fryer. Bang, job done. You know, people get really stressed out about 
you know, eating bad food. Like I said, I never went to bed hungry. I always wanted to have something before going to bed. There's nothing worse than me than going to bed feeling that I'm starving. So I always kept something to have before bed. Usually a Greek yogurt or one of those um, protein yogurts, protein puddings from Aldi's. Always or something. But if you look at my food, it's quick. It's quick and easy. Nothing's complicated. Nothing requires hours in the kitchen. That would just do my head in. Um, but I do like to keep it simple. Oats, bagels, potatoes, rice. Like I said earlier, I'm a big believer in this. People comp if you if you get a diet of somebody, that would, but if you go on a diet and it looks complicated and oh my god, that's that's amazing. Or you're cutting out food groups, you're cutting out carbs, or you cut you're going on keto or you're going on paleo or fuck or whatever fucking else, right? Good luck with it because you you you're taking foods out. So what do you have? What do you replace them with? Do you know? All the food I got here is food I would eat. This is food I want to eat. I don't eat anything I don't like. I don't sit down. I use this analogy. It's a bit crass. You don't work. You don't work all day. Come home to work. Sit down with the family and go. Sit down to fucking chicken salad. Who the fuck you know wants to come home and work all day? You know, come home to a nice sumptuous chicken salad. Fucking okay, hell, that ain't living, right? And do even doing this, even getting into shape. You know, you still eat the food you like. Yes, you've got to control them. I've got to take the jaffa cakes out. And if I'm having oats, I've got to make sure that I don't have a big bowl because that, you know, all got to, you've, got to, you've got to have some, you've got to have some, um, what's the word? You've got to be prepared to make some sacrifices, some controls to get the, the result you want. And that is one that I'm not prepared to make is to eat food I don't like. Ain't ever eating food I don't like. Why would we eat food I don't like? So food you enjoy, food you enjoy, food you want to eat, not food, uh, chicken salad, you know. Uh, there's a place for chicken, yes. There's a place for salad, yes but not a chicken salad, you know, boring, boring, tasteless, hungry food.